so Gaijin has a very unusual sense of humor because when this vehicle first came out a couple of years ago, I think it was like a year and a half ago, I believe it was, uh, they decided to give this thing the mango round a day, not even a day, I would say probably like 12 hours after I dropped that video. So I had to play this thing with the 3BM22 at 9.7 which I thought was kind of rough at the time, but I thought, okay, you know what? This is balance. I understand it. I accept it. And then they gave it the mango round, which kind of upset me because I, I suffered in it just, just a little bit. <laughs> so that's what we're going to go ahead and take a look at in today's video is the T72 AV terms to see whether or not this is going to be worth your purchase. Although the sales are kind of unusually bad bad last year the sales were around 30 percent off for certain vehicle packs including top tier but this time around it's kind of uh yes i have acquired all the vehicles I, I spend way too much money on this game at least i did in the past but this is yikes uh you know more power to you if you enjoy this awesome but before i go ahead and dive into detail about the terms i just want to let you guys know very quickly that yes the sales are going on you know as per usual uh, if you guys want to go ahead and support the channel just a little bit more get uh my in-game decal get three percent off your total order uh use my three percent link down below in the description it supports me you get discount stuff now i won't really add on to the already existing discount unfortunately but i still see that three percent uh, for having you use it and you still get my in-game decal which is i've been seeing you guys use a lot of it and you're awesome seriously <laughs> so with that being said let's look into the terms thankfully i don't have to go into detail when it comes to this because if you play top tier or if you play high tier there's a very good possibility you run into this thing and in fact you might run into the masses of this vehicle because everyone and their grandmother cousins their chihuahuas and dobermans and whatever uh, they play this thing to no end, more or less. And it does make a lot of sense, too. It does bring a lot of really cool things that you would find in the top-tier environment while being at a relatively, I wouldn't say stable BR, but seeing how many people play this damn thing, it's pretty stable in that sense. Now, first things first, firepower. This thing has, quote-unquote, top-tier firepower. So if we take a look at that really quick, you'll see originally it was 3bm22 right not the best it can get the job done but it wasn't that great but of course not long after this vehicle first came out they gave it the mango round 3bm42 which is um i would say the mid high range more or less uh, okay maybe the mid range top tier shell 457 base pen right 386 264 this sable type exists all the way from a battle rating 9.3 to 11.0 in some regards so this is a very very I guess common top tier shell you do get a dozer blade in this thing that's a pretty new addition for the most part but seeing that this is a premium vehicle you don't have to grind nothing anything zero zip you just buy the vehicle you have everything and you play laser range finder generation two thermal sights really good optics for the gunner which by the way i believe this is a, an italian optic which kind of sucks because you think you would give the italian ariete this thing but i i found out it's different types of optics and i'm still sad that the r8 days didn't get this which is sad you do get a citv now that's a very big one too because this thing sits really high up in the vehicle which means that you can just look be into a turret down position look over a hill have good thermal sights good magnification and you're great to uh, great to go and your uh optics or excuse me your commander can also control the weapon if you lose your gunner which is very nice not really something you'll find with the t72a's or the i think even the b's for that matter Oh, and uh, speaking of a T-72As, this is an A through and through. Your armor sucks. DM-33-105-120, DM-23-105, I believe, can even go through the front of your turret face, or excuse me, your uh, upper front plate, without very much issue. And this ERA only stops about 5 millimeters of kinetic energy, which is sable rounds, darts, etc. The problem with this, though, in War Thunder, Contact 1 likes to act like Relic or Contact 5 eating sable rounds. I've had it happen so many times where just... I shoot my very good dart, my KEW or something, and the ERA stops it. It's not supposed to, but it does, and it's really stupid. But if you do lose that uh, armor, of course, if it, uh, if it gets penetrated, look at this ammunition. It's all over the place. It's a T-72. You will pop very quickly, but 
Gaijin has this weird thing going on right now where the spalling doesn't really happen too much. I've shot the center of these tanks, goes through all the ammunition, and does not detonate the vehicle. Just blacks out some ammo. It's it's annoying as hell, to be honest. And of course, seeing that this is a T-72, and a heavy one at that too, sort of, your engine sucks. Your mobility really sucks. 780 horsepower. You only get, what, 60 kilometers going forward. 4.2 in reverse. If you've never played Russian tanks at top tier... Most, actually all of your T-72s, including the T-90, can only go in reverse about four kilometers an hour. You won't be able to get that good speed going reverse uh, until you hit the T-80s and all the other IAVs, etc. for the most part. But this vehicle, yeah, do not shoot and scoot. That is the name of the game. And turret traverse, not the greatest, uh, about 17 degrees a second. Kind of rough. Vertical targeting speed, three degrees a second. It sucks. It really, really sucks. So... Yeah, anyways, <laughs> with all that being said, let's take this bad boy out and see whether or not it's worth your purchase. So let's begin. I understand, I've said this in previous videos, but this setup, the single, what is it, the conquest uh, or battle mode on Folda is terrible because my entire team is gonna rush over to A and we're gonna camp the castle, right? Or the entire enemy team is gonna go over, over to Bravo and cap the points. And that's it, there's not gonna be any action, there's just gonna be that <laughs> anyways i did forget to mention this is a custom camo pattern uh i did find on the world of the live page i will have the link to it if you guys want to use it uh and always carry fragmentation rounds if you play russia at top tier a high tier always carry frag rounds they're very good if you know exactly what you're doing aim for optics light vehicles etc always carry just a couple at least that's what i do anyways we'll make this good oh no they made it here already come on yeah, they just uh, got themselves on the B point now, and no one is over there, including myself, which means that we are going to lose this game. So I'm just going to decap the point, kind of give them something to think about a little bit, or just do that instead, <laughs> and uh, run over to the B point and try to stop it. But I, I give no guarantees. Aha! Come on, there you are. Or, come on, stay there. Gotcha. Perfect. X and one down. Uh, M735 will not really have a hard time going through your upper front plate so try not to get shot at at close range just saying but i think uh, i think we can make it i think we can you know in truth i don't even care if i die i don't i just want to get that point and keep them from capping it because it just i don't want this game to end and there's a Merkava up front i know because he just killed somebody there he is perfect i i think we got this hold up Dude, my team is starting to pick up the pace go get him there you go little Rui cat Come on. Got him. I don't even care who shot me. Just get that point, buddy. There you are. Perfect. Oh, and it Bradley gets me. Damn, dude. <laughs> I hope my teammates can get him. Oh, yeah. Now the tow TB works. We got to defend that B point. Come on. They're about to cap it. I'm trying to help here. Oh, dude. Yeah, we lost. There it is. There it comes. Yep, there it is. That's the loss. That's exactly what I mean about this type of game. It sucks. Uh, you know what? It would have been the same for me, too, but screw it. Here's a couple of those missiles. <laughs> hey, at least in that last game, I tried. Ooh, Sorry, I weigh a lot more than you, buddy. Just saying. But anyways, I tried that last game. It's just... I don't understand battle mode in War Thunder. I really don't. They're very much one-sided for the most part. And I've had some games where the, you can kind of fight for the points, but in truth, it never really works out like that. And that's pretty much how you see it. But hey, you know what? I'm, I'm done ranting. We'll make this a good game too. I'm going straight for the point. I'm gonna try to get into the defensive area and let them come to me because come on, we're a premium. We can lose this thing if we want to. Oh my God, how much Artie's gonna hit me? <laughs> Ah, uh, God, I've got somebody right behind me and he's coming up. Come on, can I? I've got so many things around me. Can I get my gun up? Or down, you, you know what I mean. Here he comes. All right, we're up, we're up. HSTV out. No, not an HSTV, I'm sorry, KPZ. I... <laughs> uh, I, I'm too tired for this, I'm sorry. Ha! Cam 2 IP. I got a Puma right down low. Should be able to get him. I think that's where his crew's at right there. Gotcha. Perfect. 
Oh crap, no, 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 turn! Ah! Oh. All these pumas, man. It's all right, we got a backup, let's bring it out. Oh, oh, I see you. Wait, I don't see you. Wait, wait, where are you? Uh, there he is. Come on. Give me a shot here, please. And gotcha. <laughs> the commander side, man. If you know how to use it, if you know how to work with the offset, and uh, oh, if also if you laze, it does correct the offset too. So you just have a higher sight. And by the way, that Puma that killed us, he's dead too. This guy's not, however. There you are. Come here, little Puma. I've been hunting this Puma for a little bit now. I got someone in front of me, though. Another Puma. Oh, of course, he knocks out my gun! Ugh, I'm gonna knock out yours. No, I'm dead. <laughs> He's gonna go over my driver the entire time. There we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm getting bullied by a Puma! Ah! So many Pumas. It's okay. We did, we did okay. Sort of. Let's get out of here. I'll be honest, I completely forgot how bad the Puma spam was, but in truth, I don't really pay attention to it because I don't play around this battle rating, and I can't really show you right now because we are fully up tiered, but normally, you'll see this be filled with terms. Just if you play at your own battle rating, it's all premium vehicles. If you play in an up tier, well, you're playing in an up tier, which this thing, <laughs> everything that shoots at you is going to kill you in a single hit. That whole Russian bias falling protection thing, doesn't really exist on this thing. Trust me when I say that. So I don't really know how well this is going to go, but uh, I'll be honest, I'm getting really frustrated in this thing. So I'm hoping for the best. Because Mark 7, that's not a Mark 7. That's an Abrams. Perfect. The reason why I say that is because I just, that's got to be him. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Kind of hang out right here for a little bit. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, Mike. I hear something, but I don't see him. On my left. Should be able to set up a good shot on him. Nope. I think he's coming this way. I got one shot. Don't mess it up. Oof. I don't think that's the guy I was listening to. Hmm. It might be him. Let's go get him if we can. I'm pinched. I put myself in a bad position. I got Abrams coming this way now. And I got this guy right here. Damn it. All right. Let's fight. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, I messed up my shot. Here it comes. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. He, d he dinged up his shot. All right. Perfect. Oh, balls. I'm dead. Come on. Give me cover, buddy. Whoa, we're cooking. Come on, we're cooking. Ah, oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> that was a good fight. Get him, Leopard. You know, I'm kind of sad we lost that fight, but in truth, that was a fun fight. Those are the kind of games I kind of live for, for the most part, when it comes to War Thunder, but <laughs> this guy, he definitely needs help. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming to, I'm coming to help you, buddy. Don't die on me. He's going to shoot you one more time. Come on, where is he? Oh, he's cooking you out, isn't he? All right, you shot. There we go. Uh, does that help? Okay, I'm going to give him my FPE if I have to. Nope, he's good. Perfect. Let's get him back up and running. I've got what sounds like a, uh, a light tank of some sort to my hard left. He is on the cap point right now, but... It might not be. Nope, it's a leopard of some sort. Go get him. No, oh, don't get shot at. Come on. We got to get this point. <laughs> oh. oh, you know what? I had fun. Let's get out of here. So remember last game when I said that there's going to be a bunch of premiums and you might have a good chance of running into them? This is it. There's only one, two, three, four players that are not either event vehicles, squadron vehicles, or premiums. And I think this guy kind of got the memo and said, uh, nope, he's, he's here. He's also a terms. Uh, you know what? I give this game a 100% chance of losing, but I'm going to make it good.
or at least to the best of my ability for this tank anyways uh, all right last one let's do it yeah that's why you don't crest the hill like that buddy because <laughs> that's gonna happen but you know what i'm gonna do the same thing because guess who doesn't have gun depression that's right me oh bradley they got him Eh, screw it. What do I have to lose? It's a premium vehicle. Come here, little Bradley. Boop. Oh, okay. Woo, we're good. Are you okay? Nope. You weren't okay, but now you're okay. We're good. We saved you. Let's get you back up and running, dude. Or not. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, this is not going well. There you are. That's for killing my teammate, buddy. I was going to fix him. I was going to get him back up and running and think, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Everyone left. Uh, yeah, we're going to lose. I almost guarantee this. So I'm going to kind of ambush them a little bit. And uh, I got some kills, I, I think. Nice. Oh. Nice for me, I think. Doesn't know I'm here. Boop. Oh, really? Really? That's it? That's it? Really? Oh. Uh, at least we got him anyway. But come on, that should have been a one tap. That that penetrated the armored deck and everything. Oh, I see that. Come on, let's get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Catch him. All right. This guy doesn't have any idea. There's another one up front. It's all right. And get him though. Perfect. Sometimes it pays off to be patient, doesn't it? And right in the ammo. Perfect. I got another one. I'm going to try to knock these guys out if I can and get my teammates to move up. I've got one more. I got one up there. I've got one in front of me. I'm going to go back to my little hidey hole. There you are. Sees me. Correction. He saw me. Uh, is that an AGS? Ah, too much bush. I can't really tell. He popped smoke. He knows I'm coming for him. I got to be very careful because I got dudes over here to my left. There he is. Another AGS. Okay, I'm not going to pop him or anything. I'm going to go ahead and go for this guy. There you are. Really? I buy a 247? How? Oh, come on. That doesn't... <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Okay, so I wanted to check something. In fact, I already knew this. I know this to be 100% true. But I wanted to check it anyway just to be 110%. For you guys here in that previous game almost every single terms player that we saw right there was under level 50. now normally i don't consider people like to be good or bad based on their level but it gives me an idea of how new they possibly could be now i don't know who makes smurfs accounts uh, in, in war thunder smurfs accounts sorry kind of a tongue twister there uh, in war thunder but it does happen and every single one of those is under the level of 50 which led to me to believe that that's the only vehicle they had. Some of them, most of them had probably maybe 30 vehicles in total, which goes to show that many players who buy this vehicle have no idea what they are doing. Of course, we lost that mission. I, I did good for the most part, but we ended up losing it pretty hard. That's the big problem you will be finding with the terms, especially when it comes to these sales, because Gadget knows this thing sells very well. So they're going to keep it the way it is, but... If you are someone who is looking to grind through Russia and you have an unspeakable amount of patience, then yes, this vehicle will suit you. It has good firepower. It has okay mobility. It has very good optics. I mean, these optics are amazing. That's, that's the one thing I cannot fault about this vehicle is four to 12 times is brilliant. Commander sacks 2.5 to 10. It's absolutely brilliant, and I deeply enjoy it. But everything else about this vehicle, the turret traverse, vertical targeting, uh, reverse rate, everything that you would find is what you would expect for the high-tier environment for the Russians, except that at least they have some armor, and they are protected by some of what we like to think is to be the biases in War Thunder at high tier with no spalling, etc. So they are somewhat protected, right? This vehicle just doesn't really have that, and you pair it with everyone wanting to play this thing, I showed you guys how many people were playing this thing. And that was a lot of my games, which led 
to a lot of defeats in this. In fact, I think this is one of my worst uh, win rates in, in, in the game, probably like around 40-ish percent. So I, I have a good KD in it. I'll give me, I'll give myself that, but win rate's very terrible in this thing. And it makes a lot of sense because everyone's playing this damn thing. So would I recommend this in that sense? No, I, everyone's playing it. Don't go up there. You're just gonna get frustrated. I did bust open my knuckle trying to uh, play this thing. So I, I, I did kind of punch something pretty hard, but that's just me. Uh, and that's a sad thing because this is a good vehicle. It means well, it plays well. It's just the environment it sits in is not desirable. So my recommendation would be go for instead 8.3. I know, right? We're showing the terms, right? Why are we talking about this? And I, I say that because 8.3 is a very, very good battle rating. It's very well balanced in my opinion for the most part between armor, mobility, firepower, etc. Nothing is too over overpowered. And you do have the T55 AM1, which I don't have, but I know how well it plays because I have the AMD, 55A, etc. And it makes for a fantastic environment, in my opinion, probably way worth your shekels compared to the terms. If you want to get this, if you want to suffer through it, be my guest. It is the most efficient way to grind a vehicle out or a nation out, excuse me, but you're going to get your ass handed to you more often than not if i get my butt kicked you might too just saying okay so with that being said if you guys want to make this purchase use my three percent discount link it's down in the description below uh, it does help me out tremendously and uh if you want to show more support for the channel you know i have patreon i have twitch i have discord uh, everything else for that matter uh etc there are some changes coming very soon for the channel so heck yeah and in a good sense nothing too broad just small things here and there but yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy everything. If you do want to see this gameplay live, again, Twitch streams, uh, the links are down below in the description. Uh, you see me there pretty much every single day in my brand new office, which looks really nice and it feels nice. So yeah, I'll see you guys not only in the next video or even the streams, but in War Thunder itself. I really did bust my knuckle open pretty hard. Okay, I'm gonna go get that patched up. <laughs> Till next time.